Experts sound the alarm. We're facing a shortage of lithium. But hang on, why should you care? Lithium-ion batteries are used in a lot of everyday stuff, such as electric cars, mobile phones, laptops, and many other portable devices. A shortage would definitely slow down the electric vehicle production, which could be a serious setback in our fight against climate change. So where do we get lithium from, and how can we make sure we have enough? Lithium is a metal that's used in many powerful rechargeable batteries in the electronics industry. Being the lightest metal in the world, it's especially useful in high-performance batteries. The global lithium market is projected to be worth $242 billion by 2026. The largest amounts of the so-called white oil are mined in Australia, followed by Chile and China. But other players are fighting for a piece of the cake too. In Mexico, for example, the government and private companies are fighting over who gets to own the country's lithium reserves. It's not only a question of who owns the most lithium, it's also about who can actually produce lithium ion cells. Right now, Mexico might have the resources, but they're not yet producing batteries on a commercial level. China, on the other hand, they lead the global production by a long way. But several governments worldwide want to install their own plants. They are a little late to the party, however. Right now, the world simply depends on Chinese production. But even with global production rising, we probably won't be able to meet the demand. Robert Scaringe, CEO of electric vehicle manufacturer Rivian, said in an interview this week, put very simply, all the world's cell production combined represents well under 10% of what we will need in 10 years. EVs are especially dependent on lithium. While an average smartphone battery contains just a couple of grams of lithium, an electric vehicle needs up to 10 kilograms for its battery pack. With the consequences of climate change becoming more and more noticeable, many are pinning their hopes on the electric car revolution. The expectation was that EV batteries would become cheaper, and therefore the cars would become more affordable too, meaning we could leave gasoline behind but that plan seems to be at great risk now. There's also uncertainty about how much lithium is actually left on our planet. This ultimately brings us to the only chance we have, recycling. Effectively, reusing lithium will play a crucial role in the future. So the shortage could turn out to be a good thing. It might force companies to work in a more sustainable way. Okay, but what does the lithium shortage actually mean for us regular users? Well, you might not own an electric car now, but chances are you'll want one in the near future. And as we can see now with the global chip crisis, any kind of shortage usually makes prices go up. And the lithium crisis could far outweigh the chip shortage. For other electronics that don't need as much lithium, such as smartphones, prices shouldn't go up too drastically. Electric vehicles, however, are a crucial step towards a fossil fuel-free future. And so they're pretty crucial in preventing the worst effects of climate change. But as long as they remain an expensive accessory for eco-conscious rich people, the problem of greenhouse gas emissions from private cars will nearly be impossible to solve. Are you stressing out about the lithium shortage? Let us know and thanks for watching.